welcome back to the channel. My name is Yao and it's a pleasure to see you all. How is everybody? I hope you are doing well. I'm super excited to be filming this video. It is continuing my how to series. As you know, two weeks ago, I filmed a video on how to achieve the perfect brow. On one side, I showed you how to get a more natural, fluffy sort of brow. And on the other side, I showed you how to get a brow just like this, sculpted, insta brow ready to snatch wigs, weaves, and all sorts. So today's video will be something a little bit different, but nonetheless within the how to family. So this is going to be how to create the perfect neon pigmented eyeshadow using liquids as a base. If any of you guys have been a part of the family for any amount of time, you would know that I've been using lipsticks, eye creams, body paints, all sorts of stuff as eyeshadow bases for years and literally it's the best way to get a super pigmented look. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve that look in this video so I hope you guys are excited for that. Also I just wanted to point out that my bedroom is now officially painted, it is all white which I'm super excited to be able to film in there. So you guys are going to be receiving a lot more varied content, different scenery, we do need to lay the floor down. However, the walls are all painted and so it is more or less ready to go. So I'm super excited to start filming in there and actually bringing you guys some different content aside from makeup related content because you know I'm so into fashion. This channel actually started off as a fashion channel. So to be able to reintegrate that into the family and into the page is gonna be amazing and it's gonna feel like home. Let me know down below if you have any suggestions, anything in particular that you would like to see. Now, if you're not already a part of the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, or if you just wanna show your support. Like I said, leave down in the comment section what you'd like to see next and what you thought of this video. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So to start off, I'm going to quickly run through the products that you will need in order to achieve a super pigmented eyeshadow look. So of course we're going to start off with an eyeshadow base. This is the High Coverage Concealer from Gosh in the shade Honey. We're going to be going with the colour scheme of yellow on the inner part of the eye, green on the centre and blue on the outside. So for the yellow, I'm going to be going with my Depixim Cream. Super pigmented, it is a little bit thick but we will make it work. For the green, I'm going to be going with my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Wicked. This is literally the only green lipstick I've been able to find and the consistency is perfect. Absolutely love it. For the blue, I'm going to be going with this Lime Crime Lipstick in the shade Peacock. It is a little bit of a turquoise undertone but it is more or less a blue lipstick with a tiny tint of green in it so it's going to make it the perfect shade to mix in with the green. So you're also going to want to use a eyeshadow palette or single pressed eyeshadows that correlate with the shade green. We have the yellow and we also have a blue as well so this is perfect. Now using an eyeshadow palette can only make it so pigmented and neon so on top of that we're going to go in with our neon pigments. We have two from OPV, the green and the yellow and we have the blue from Stargazer. I've been using these neon pigments for such a long time and they work amazingly on the eye. The only reason we don't put them straight onto the lipsticks and creams is because it could stick and get a little bit patchy so we use the palette first in order to kind of mattify that area before we place these super vibrant pigments on top. Perfect, so now I've given you a little bit of a run through, I'm gonna go ahead and start this look off. So I've zoomed you guys in so you can get a much better focus on the eye. We just go ahead and place that concealer on there like that. The reason why we go for a much lighter concealer is because it's going to allow the eyeshadow to really show up true to colour as much as possible. The darker the concealer is, the less likely it is to really show up vibrant and pigmented. I'd say that if you're going for a more natural eyeshadow look and you want something that's going to more blend in with your skin, then you can go ahead and use a darker concealer. Now, as you can see, it is super opaque and thick. You want to make sure that you go in with a concealer that has very 
full coverage because you want this basically to become your new skin tone on the eye. You don't want your own skin to actually be peeking through. So when it comes to using liquids as a base, you wanna start off by knowing which structure and which order the colors will go in because once you've put down a liquid, it is very hard to remove it. So I'm gonna be using the blue as the transition and it will connect with the outer V, which will then connect with the green and then with the yellow on the inner part of the eye. Also, it's important to try and create an order whereby which they will blend together quite easily. If you think about the color wheel and you think about what goes next to what, you would wanna put yellow next to the orange, which would be next to the red. You wouldn't necessarily wanna put the yellow right next to the red because then it might be difficult to blend out. So you might wanna put an orange in between those colors, just like you would put a purple in between a blue and a red. So I'm gonna start off with the blue. And what I usually do is I dot where I'm gonna be placing it. Like that. These are super pigmented and super blendable. As these are liquids, they go a long way, so you don't wanna to put too much too early. So we have a number of brushes here that we can choose from. So I'm gonna be going in with this brush here. This is from Kalidas, and it has a very thin tip, very fluffy brush, so it's gonna blend it out perfectly. I'm gonna start off with the inner part of the eye, which is what I usually do. What I love about this concealer is that although it is quite thick, it, it doesn't dry too quickly, so it does allow for the lipstick to blend into it and kind of diffuse it more easily. Whereas a much more matte concealer wouldn't allow this amount of blendability. Because it is a liquid, you wanna be careful of how high you take it. You definitely want to move slowly and be able to control how high up on the eye it travels. Any shadow you put on there will cling to it because it is still semi tacky. So I'm gonna start off with this cloud light blue eyeshadow here. And I'm literally just gonna set the eyeshadow base, pat in. Then gonna take a little bit more of that blue and just to round off the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease, placing some concealer onto the lid. So now that we have cut the crease and we've decided more or less where we want to be packing the shadows, I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean baby wipe. I'm gonna wipe the area where we placed that concealer. So for those of you wondering why we placed the concealer down only to remove it, is because we need to use the concealer to map out where we want the cut crease to be. So I use the concealer for that and then we remove it because the blue underneath it can actually interfere with the colors that we then place on top and um, dull the colors down. So we go ahead and then we place concealer back onto that spot. And as you can see, it's going onto a clean base without any blue underneath. So it's a lot more likely to come up more pigmented. And we've got that whole space mapped out now so we know exactly where we want to place it. Perfect, now I'm gonna take my yellow cream from Depixim. We just need enough for the pigments and shadows to be able to cling to. Now taking the green, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that into the yellow. I do go back and forth with the green and the yellow because I want them to be as ombre and blended together as possible so that when we place the pigments and shadows on top, it gives it a much easier blend. I'm gonna blend out the edges of the concealer into the blue. Now to seal that gap, I'm gonna go ahead and take that blue shadow and just use it to close off that gap there. Now taking the yellow from the palette, I'm gonna go ahead and set the inner part of the eye. As you can see, the pigment that we are surfing is pretty darn intense. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the green from that palette. So when it comes to using neon pigments, I like to pour a little bit of it into the lid, just so that I'm able to control the amount that I'm putting onto the eye. Look at that in comparison to the other eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the green. Lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of the blue and green pigment on the brush together and just blend out the edges 
of the eyeshadow. Perfect, so now that the bulk of the eye is more or less complete, I'm gonna go ahead and do my base off camera and come back to show you how I finish off the inner corners and really give it that neon touch. So I will be back in a roly mode. I am back, the base is complete. Now to finish off the eye, I'm gonna be taking my UV neon liner from Stargazer and I use this in my inner corners just to give it that sharp feline effect. This is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to or if it doesn't suit your eye or face shape. As you can see, it really gives the eye that boost. So the look is officially complete and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that sometimes, you know, full beat looks like this can be a lot to take in. So I really hope that you guys are enjoying the how-tos where I break down step-by-step -step how to achieve each particular part of the makeup look. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see me focus on in the next video and also if you found this video helpful. If you think somebody else would find it helpful, don't forget to share this video also. Hit that like button to show your support and show your love baby doll. And if you're not already a part of the family, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well to join. But for now, ciao from y'all.